I would consider myself an abstract expressionist artist. Or at least I've sort of become one. I've kind of come from the basis of impressionism and then I've become more abstract about it. I'm kind of pushing it into just sort of shapes and movement now rather than going the other way and making the shapes form something. Hello, my name's John Paul. Um, I'm an artist and painter. I've been painting for about 20, 25 years. I I've always been motivated by colour, the way light creates form. I like pushing colours, painting opaques over colours where you get little bits of the colour coming through. Some of the colours that you get accidentally are some of the best colours, which is a bit unnerving, but anyway, you have to respect that and uh, kind of go with it. I kind of find it interesting to work really large and really small, both ends of the spectrum that's sort of more interesting to me. Uh, I love painting something that people can actually stand in front of and be part of. It gives it a real dynamic when it's that big. And then really small stuff as well. It has a sort of very delicate, intricate nature as well if you work very small. But the whole thing for me is the movement at the moment. And it's as if you're painting something that's not, it's not in the air, it's in a thicker medium, like something moving through treacle or honey or something. Like a vapor trail, but it's, it's in water and I like that, and I do lots of layers of transparent and opaque painting back and forth to get that kind of look and feeling of, of, of movement and maybe a larger chunk of time than just a second. 